Because it's a supercharger, it's a car with a supercharger. I mean, make no mistake, the response of the throttle is way better than uh, normal turbocharged cars. Oh, wrong line, wrong line, bro, wrong line. What are you doing? Ah, careful, Civic. That's the wrong line, that's the wrong line. Be mindful, be mindful.
driving. Cargo, the little Elise. <laughs> so cute. Now, will we make it on time? So, how is the car? The car is definitely capable. It's just that I really do not want to push something that I'm first time behind the wheel of. Okay, dive, dive, dive. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, go, go. Let's ease off and see how. Let's see if there's any roadblocks. <laughs> So, there was a time where there are a lot of uh, young boy racers with really loud and noisy exhausts and they were, they were let's say, they are driving rather in uncontrolled manner, I would say and um, <clears throat> there were a few that causes crashes and all that so it's not, it's not very good for everybody right so uh, so that's why they start controlling so we have just to be more civil you know
I mean, at this juncture, I would I would like to go for something like this that gives me some learning curve, you know, in terms of how to drive how to drive a proper car. You know, so yeah. Yes, that's how it is. The grip levels of this car is just insane. Insane. the way it's managing oh. and of course I need to learn how to use the way the front like dials in like when I'm turning like that and then I give it a little bit of lift and then it just tucks the front in interesting very nice Never at one point I was at full throttle actually. <laughs> Lovely. Yay, we made it to the temple. Temple run safe and sound. Everybody here drive safe. Enjoy the cars. Enjoy the drive. Is it full already? That early? Is it full already? That early? That cannot be right. And the suspension, you know, going through all the higher bits and all that, no problem. Brilliant. Upper car kebabian ini. So early, no parking. Good morning. So I'm here at uh, about 2,000 meters above sea level in this place called Genting Highlands in Malaysia. So this is the famous mountain road that all of us car guys will come up every single weekend. And that's my colleague's car, the Porsche Spider of Thomas. So today I took the Emira up here and have a little bit of fun with the car. All right. Now, before I go in further, let's look at the design. All right, look at the car. Now, this is in Lotus Speak, you know, the, the fundamental change that they need, perhaps. See, Lotus has always been a car maker that pursues purity and raw, no frills approach, you know. Like, if they can reduce, they will reduce. But in the, in the car, in the sports car market, you cannot do all that and don't think about 
everyday usability, right? And Lotus has been doing that all the time. So they've been losing market share, uh, very fewer and fewer balls out drivers buying their cars. And um, so they need to change. They, they realized that very early. They did the Europa, which is sort of like a tarted up Elise. You know, it almost looks like an Elise with more carpet, leather, that's about it. And then, uh, almost 10 years ago, they did the Evora, which was moderately successful because the Evora has a little bit of comfort inside and still retains that kind of raw uh, driving manner. And it looks beautiful as well. That was still under Proton's reign, you know, in the Evora. So you see a lot of bits pass bin bits that comes out from Proton even. Okay, so there's a mixture of trying to use expensive materials, but then the car just doesn't look well engineered and finished in terms of its everyday appealing factor. But in terms of the drive, everybody loves it, you know, it's a, it's a lovely car to drive. So coming to this one, the, the, the Emira, um, it's quite interesting because Lotus announced the Evaya before the Emira and the Evaya sort of looks like this the hyper electric car that Lotus announced right after Geely bought over was sort of like that the aero works you know the the vents on the bonnets and all that it sort of is like that so that makes everyone think that the creation of the Emira is sort of like a it, almost like a, a, a car that accompanies the, the Evaya as the one to help burden the amortization costs for different things or from the, the core uh, structure of the car. So that's the Emira, the creation of the Emira. Now interestingly, uh, we, all, we all have always known that for, for Lotus 3.5 V6, it is a uh, they had an agreement with Toyota, which supplies the engine to them, you know, and then uh, of course they added superchargers, they tuned them and all that, which is good because the, the starting point is a Toyota, you know it's a reliable block. And in the Emira, there are two engine options, even though both engine produces around 400 horsepower. Or I heard that the AMG one, the two liter AMG engine will be detuned to 300 plus, all right? But I, I just don't think they need to detune it. Why do you want to detune it? Just to, you know, you don't have to detune it. You can have both at, at about 400 horsepower and just let owners make the choice. So the 2 litre AMG source engine will be paired with the DCT gearbox. Whereas this one, the 3.5 V6, will be paired with the 6-speed manual. Alright, let's look at the size. Even the side intakes. It's, it reminds me of the Evaya, the electric car Evaya, right? Look at that. And is it a beautiful car? It is a beautiful car, but it's also a bit like a longer mid-engine sports car that has been shrunken a bit whilst retaining the height, right? There is a lot of, you know, uh, thickness in this part. Of course, they, they darken this part just to appear thinner and there is a hint of the, the the Lotus Elise lines you know especially the modern Elise the Cup 2 or something like that but it's a short car you can see and that's a standard parking spot right so it is about the size of a Cayman or slightly smaller than a Cayman shorter so the whole profile is wide and short Ah, and classic mid-engine looks, okay? So here, of course, we see air vents, you know, cooling stuffs all there. Splitters up front. The headlights look really good. These are, these are essentially front spoilers. This entire bonnet look-alike thing can't be opened and it is actually a front spoiler generating downforce okay and look at how beautiful it is very unique aero features 
I wouldn't say it's as sleek as the spider over there but you know they know their stuff as well when it comes to all these arrow bits and I also wonder why they did not design wipers that are hinged here and the wiper actually go underneath so that it gives you a cleaner look and then you can wipe upwards you know just reverse the wipers and on the wings you have these arrow bits as well which drives air underneath here and then the air gets sucked into the engine bay here's the badge Emira first edition and then these are you know to disperse heat from the engine all right this is a glass yes it is a glass not a plexi okay the wheels look all right not bad and from the size of it these look like 19s are they 19s they look like 19s they look 19s to my eyes oh 20 yeah these are 20 inch wheels 35 profile pretty thick pretty thick 20 inch 35 wow so that tells you how big the wheel wells are okay and uh, another thing I want to note when you open the doors right yes you push this then you pull this exactly like an Aston right because you can hear that the rubbing sound on the hinges I just noticed I can't help but notice this why and how interesting interesting material very interesting material I want to try using my magnet all right these are my speakers I should use another one okay this one is for me to talk what are you doing bro <laughs> Thomas okay I have my other speaker but let me switch it off okay there's a magnet behind I'm sure this car has a lot of aluminum bits but they don't sound aluminum to me that's the thing interesting see this sound aluminum of course the magnet won't stick because oh okay that's metal I'm trying to feel the metal okay. yeah See, this feels cold to the touch. It sounds like metal, but these are... No, I didn't study my literature before this. So, interesting. Sorry for that little exploration. Okay, I'll continue my work. Okay. So, in terms of design, I, I don't think the design is groundbreaking in any way it's just another mid-engine sports car or supercar look right the corvette c8 and if this is in red color coming from afar any kid will just shout wow ferrari you know uh or mclaren you know they have the exact same proportion exact same kind of design all right of course, to the trained eye, they will see, they will spot different things that are functional. See how the wheels will spit out, not just air, but I think water as well. Debris and all that out of here. That's the exhausts. Okay. Oh, the dampening parts. The boot is over here because uh, you just can't open the front hood right you have to use this hold the button 
and then uh, pop this open all right i wouldn't say it's super spacious but i reckon you can i reckon you can put a small golf bag i suppose you have really have to stuff it and that's the engine bay that's it this is the engine bay you are only allowed 50 kilos in the luggage compartment maximum all right that's the supercharger mounted on top of the 3.5 liter v6 these are sort of like you know 3d ish kind of tail lamps and uh, let's look at the inside interesting materials all around as we know it's lotus but it's 1.45 tons it's not lightweight at all in lotus speak but then these are wrapped in leather <laughs> or soft touch materials that feels like leather the seats you know, these plastic covers yeah, usually this type of design after a while this and this they won't fit perfectly over time so you get a little parcel behind uh, from video it looks big but it's actually not you know you can put like a small backpack behind probably some handbags and that's about it all right and uh, there is a little thing at the back here what is it? let me have a look it's a 12 volt socket at the back some hooks for your luggage and that's about it okay and these are the seats hmm. very bold and these are the kind of carpets that makes them look almost on par with Porsches but Porsches are thicker and the best thing about this car is the visual the mechanical linkages of the manual gearbox can be seen and it makes sure it can be seen because at night there are lights coming up coming out to to illuminate the linkages there is one usb port over there and a small little hidden compartment almost hidden from sight and then over here you have a simple button for the boot somehow a met metallic feel scroll wheel to adjust the brightness all right the electronic parking brake the pedals very nice very clear cut they look far apart but that's only because they are very small all right they are very small um i'll put my foot there if you can see <laughs> yep they're very small but the position and the placement is perfect very easy to do whatever heel toe whatever that you would like there's a very interesting thing about this car you unlock the, the car all right sorry i actually wanted to switch it off yeah i wanted it to be off there's something interesting about this car you unlock the car you open the door and the aircon starts flowing i think it's something that they do so that drivers who sit in adjust themselves won't feel the heat but i'm not sure about long term on the battery yeah so you get a calf premium sound system over here metallic plating laser cut pretty nice the door bins i really appreciate this now the doors are not thick but there is always room between the door and the seats and a lot of car makers they just have a straight cut but if you do a opening like this it greatly helps with the ease of use and taking things all right that's a very curious bit of a piece of leather here very interesting it's like you thought you thought it's like a lever or something for you to pull on but it, it, it looks like just one piece that got stuck here so pretty interesting probably they use this 
from another car that was designed for four window switches then they put this cover just to cover it all right they have to right and uh alcantara over here leather leather stitches are all right this whole thing is metallic you know feels like aluminium really nice then the sensation of pulling it is very positive okay alcantara leather the leather is high quality leather very smooth soft touch very nice alcantara headliner as well see the aircon turns on again let me switch it off yeah switch it off right the knobs are all pretty positive in terms of the switches pretty nice the buttons are also pretty all right this one looks like a wireless charger but it's not <coughs> You can slot your entire phone in that's your drive mode selector which i reckon would be nice but anyway this one is the visual thing you know they did it like lamborghini you know open up to press <laughs> just just a gimmick right but of course you can start like that as well right, this one is the play pause button for whatever infotainment here standalone screen that looks like a tablet and uh, you get android auto there steering wheel i'm mixed about this i like this part i like this whole part but i really do not like the thickness of this when i'm holding here when i'm holding here yeah probably it's, it came from a steering wheel with paddle shifters but then with the paddle shifters shifters taken out all right so all in the interior is moderate okay if i sit if i sit directly with my head on the headrest and aiming at the center of this the, the console you will notice the steering wheel is mounted off yep i do not know why but the steering wheel is slightly to the left okay uh, as for the pedals the position is pretty positive you know very nice see you get to reach it very easily it was designed that way it was designed that way so it's fantastic in that respect okay see the aircon turn on again because the screen is not on i can't even turn it off so i have to press this ah, to turn it off it's off that's the glove box okay and uh, this one unusually thick I have no idea why why is is why is this so thick in a car that's supposed to trim every ounce of weight all right interesting and see it's super thick okay so, the lights nothing much yeah okay this whole thing is single piece aluminium very nice all right and then over here this looks all right almost like volvos or gilis okay yep that's the lotus emira walk around